Hey people, how you doing? This is French Eye Pearson. Yes, I am in the car. I am in the car on Mother's Day. And uh, yeah, <laughs> I wanna uh, follow up on this Kevin Samuels thing. Read a, a lot of uh, comments and I appreciate that because it's good to have an understanding and that's what I wanna, I wanna do. Um, this, Ke this Kevin Samuels thing, here's, here's the key. Here's the key people. <clears throat> this gentleman, I humbly believe he was working for the powers. He's working for the powers, people. And it was his job to, yeah, he could educate to a certain point, and he could um, really point out in his style uh, to correct mainly black women. But again, his style, his style was hurtful. It wasn't where it would bless somebody, see? That's the key. What we have to understand is that, like I've said in other videos, the black race has been targeted, right? And when you talk about targeting something, let's, let's, let's go straight there. You target the womb. The womb. What is the womb? The mother, Mother Earth. When you go after Mother Earth, you go after God. So that's, so 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 we have to look at we 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 have to look at him as in a spiritual sense, and none of us are totally right or totally wrong. Yeah, it's good to be critique, have a critique and criticize and straighten out, but it's all in how you do it. It's the spirit of love, and like I said, he's worth all this money. He could have taken three cities every year and taken a hundred thousand dollars and rehabbed and donated and helped the black cause. But hey, from what I can tell, he didn't. So did God raise him up? I'll put it to you like this. Even though he was working for the powers and they propped him up, God allowed it. And then he was supposed to do like Adam and Eve and you and I have done. We make a, a choice, right? A free will choice. And that's what this is about. And again, you got to go back all the way from the garden, all the way back from the time when uh, Satan went after uh, God on the throne. It's about the kingdom. And I believe I made it clear in, in, in the video I just did on Mother's Day, uh, where I put him in there, going after the black woman or any woman, you're going after the wound because the wound is that which brings forth life. You see? So if you're targeting that, and it's constant bombardment of negative behavior. You have to ask yourself, who is this guy working for? Now, let's just stay with my people. Everybody and their mama know in the 60s and 70s and even now, the predominance of drugs have been dropped in the black community. That's targeting. It wasn't just to get you high. It was to hurt the seed. And then at the same time, drugs have uh, ventured out into other communities. That's a fact. Red, yellow, black, and white. We are all precious in his sight. That's how I go, right? And 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 for for every group of people, trust me, there's a drug, right? There's a drug. Think about it. Think about it. The goal is to kill off the spiritual aspect of the birth. Because what are you bringing into the world? You see? If you can hurt the process, that's the deal. Hurt the process. And this man, he hurt the process. He hurt the process. And again, you can critique, you can go hard on some people, but what are you doing that's positive? See, here's the thing. I have 18 years of business management. I can't tell you how many people why I use that strategy. Well, I, and plus, you know, here's the thing, man, many times, you know, you got to, if you're going to go hard, you, 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 you do that in private and you praise in public. You learn that from corporate America, you know, to, to, to put our business all out in the street. Look, what that does is put you on the defense. Let's just keep it real. And at that point, it's hard to hear any positive seeds that he was dropping. Do you understand me? Do I have to say it again? If this man is hitting black people hard or any woman hard, 
talking about her in any way, form, or fashion. It puts you on the offense, even though it might be good for you. The bottom line is that you have to also be aware. How do you, what is, what is, what is another approach that you can use to get their attention? Because last time I, I checked, when you drop seeds, whether negative or positive, you need water, you need rain, some type of moisture, sunshine. You need certain ingredients. L-O-V-E, peace. See, so you got to remember, there is a conspiracy on my people and really the whole world to hurt the seed, to create monsters, if you will. And this guy knows exactly who he was working for. Trust me. He knows. Look, he's a tool. He's a tool. Just like I'm a tool for God. But he's a tool for negativity. For, for a dark God. And now, look, we had nothing but controversy. See, let's not get caught up in now the extension of the trick. That is now you and I going back and forth being combative. No, no, no. Let's not do that. Let's understand what should have worked. Let's understand the opportunity that he had before him that he blew. I will honor him for the for the for the for, for, the, for the medicine that he gave. It's how he gave it. That's what I'm questioning. How did he give it? Was it nutritional? Can it be measured in terms of the digestion? And what are the fruits behind it? I'm telling you, I have 18 years on the south side and the west side of Chicago and some suburbs in, in, in being like a, 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 a parent to youth running businesses. And I'm telling you, I got them off the streets. I got them out of gang. I tried to tell him, you a man now, you got a baby, have some responsibility. I didn't always talk at him, I talked to him. I had to reach him. Mr. Samuels had a, he, he had a base from which to reach people. But trust me, he had parameters because he worked for a dark side that trust me, they were not gonna let him do that. And in my humble opinion as I speak, maybe God just said, you know what? Your time then ran out. It's time for you to go. So whether it was a sacrifice, a conspiracy to take him out, I don't know. It kind of appears that it was, but I'm not going to go there. All I'm saying is that God will give you a season and cycle of opportunity when he allows you to arise in this world and be responsible with the format that he's blessed you with. So we got to understand, sometimes God even lets the, the devil raised somebody up, but then again, you got to use your Adam conscious of choice, of free will, and say, you know what? I'm going to do something for God before I leave this planet. I'm going to do something for God. I've been talking all this smack about women. I, I heard I heard some of the girls been telling me how he would look at a fat woman and down her, saying nobody going to love her. Look, you demeaning people, brother. You demeaning people. And you wonder why you get all this hate on YouTube and these social media coming after you? Look at what you did. And I ain't talking to Samuel right now because he's deceased. God bless him. God rest his soul. I'm talking to that spirit that was in him. And I'm asking y'all to talk to that spirit within you and ask yourself. When you close your eyes for the very last time and you wake up, wherever you're going to wake up. And if you wake up in glory, God bless you. God would say, well done my good and faithful servant. That's what it's all about, people. And again, I'm not here to debate whether he was right or wrong. I'm talking about his strategy, his tactic. That was wrong. Did it lead a soul to Christ? Did it convict you to do something better? Trust me, when you season it with a little bit of love, a little, little peace, people can tell when you really, uh, how would you say when you're sincerely concerned about them, they'll be like, man, you know what? I need to change. Because many times, you know what? It didn't take him to point it out. God gave us a soul and a conscience and reasoning. We know when we ain't right. I'm going to say it again. We know when we ain't right. We know when, we, we know when we're doing wrong. It's in our innate nature. We know that. We didn't need him to tell us. He was just there. But because he was allowed by God to rise he had a responsibility as a man as the head 
who can speak to the universe and move mountains and influence things on the earth with God's spirit. He didn't do that in a measurable fashion. That's what I'm trying to say to y'all. Come on now. Understand what I'm saying. This is divine. That kingdom come, that will be done. What is the kingdom? It's what you speak. When you speak after that nine months, you're helping to form to formulate that kingdom. So that kingdom come. How do you make that kingdom come? You can't keep smacking them around. You got to show them Jesus. When you see the water, put your hand out and say, peace be still. Get it right. It's all in how you do it, people. It's all in how you do it. I hope you're getting this. It's all in how you do it. So many of us are in positions where we can change people, but we're ugly about it. That's wrong. That's wrong. Because again, we get on the defense. And the devil's like, yeah, you show, showed them, didn't you? And then we keep going through the same cycle of every 15, 30 years, having another generation where we lost. How you going to reach your crack baby? Some of their brain cells is messed up. This is the third generation of crack babies, y'all. Let's get it real. This is the third generation where we ain't been pledging allegiance and putting our hand on the Bible for a measurable point in society. We fighting against these negative videos, these stupid rap stars, these stupid people uh, 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 mimicking the devil on TV, on the cinema. Every day, they praying over the, uh, 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 the music before they put it out to us. There's so much against this child. We don't need Mr. Samuels adding to the mix. That's all I'm saying. He had an opportunity, and you got an opportunity. Let's not go back and forth and debate this. Understand using a better style. You can convict somebody, but it's your style. I had to learn it. I had to learn it, y'all. I wasn't the best manager when I was managing. I had to learn it. And I saw the difference. I meet people every other year, walk up to me, I don't even recognize them. They say, hey, it used to be my boss. You got me out the street, brother. I got a job. I'm a man now. I planted seeds. I ain't just talking here. I'm telling you what I did. You want to have a Mother's Day? Man up. Man up. Understand what this is about. It's a kingdom battle. God needs all of us to be warriors to protect the kingdom. So from the time you make love to that woman, you rub her belly. You see to that child in the womb. You make sure you go to work. Be responsible. Get them out the street. Because if you don't, the street and the gangs, they're going to raise them. We should have never had a Kevin Smiley talking that crap. If the fathers are stepping up, he would never have an influence in a negative fashion over us. If we have men taking care of business, I know I'm making sense here. And yeah, it's good to have an extended family. But the bottom line is we need to man up. And be the fathers within the household. I don't need a communicate from another source to tell me what to do. When God has said, look, I've given you a mother and a father. That's my sermon. I love you. If you like this video, whatever you want to say, hey, say it. But understand the context for where I'm coming from. Hammering negativity after negativity after negativity. It's a turnoff, people. These kids, a lot of them, they got a gangster mentality. They're going to fight you back. They're not going to hear you. They got clogged spiritual ears. But if you show them some love, listen to their lyrics. A lot of the rap songs, what do they say? I didn't find love until I got in the street. That's sad, people. It's sad. It's a sad commentary on this generation. Love you guys. Let the church say amen.